so many ways, but there's one area that is not quite sprouting, you might say. The University of South Florida just wrapped up a five-year-long study into the city's trees and the shade they provide. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter J.D. Williams is getting to the root of the problem and why the trees are disappearing in the city and what's being done to turn that around. To the naked eye, it may seem like there's no shortage of trees in Tampa. But with a closer look, it's actually the lowest amount of tree canopy in the last 20 years. Every five years, a team of researchers at the University of South Florida takes a look at our trees and canopy cover. It's been a trend that we've seen the last two measurement cycles, uh, but this is the first cycle where it's been statistically different, where we can tell that it's beyond just measurement error. And while it may seem easy to point to the root of the decline, unfortunately, we scientifically we can't identify the actual, you know, difference in reasons what, what's going on, but there's a few things that are at the top of the list. That includes aging and dying oaks, redevelopment, and infrastructure projects. And if we keep heading in this direction, this loss, it's going to have all the negative, benef negative uh, attributes that we associate with loss of canopy. Hutter, a hotter city, uh, you know, less benefits from trees. So the team took their findings to City Council Thursday. I see this as a crucial situation. Highlighting a deeper issue with the dwindling tree population. We found that areas with lower income residents and more Hispanic residents are some of the areas where they have the highest heat and the lowest canopy. So it's sort of a concern from a sort of social equity side of things that, that the, hopefully the city is going to address. And while those low income neighborhoods tend to have less trees and canopy cover, like here in East Ebor, researchers found many of them say that was a choice they made. Well, I think one of the, the key things for um, especially households that, you know, they're struggling to meet basic needs and um, thinking about uh, juggling the, the demands of a household, the, uh, the high cost of tree maintenance is really uh, a very uh, difficult thing for a lot of people in the city. The city does have a tree planting campaign and assistance for tree trimming. The city has uh, invested in a program that is a tree trimming grant program that was uh, implemented primarily in uh, East Tampa. Other people passionate about our tall green neighbors say they continue to wait to see more trees planted. Since this compelling presentation, I have not seen one tree planted. I don't, I've heard a lot, 30,000 trees by 2030 sounds like a really great goal, but the trees are not going to plant themselves. And to the USF researchers, action now could lead to a much different conversation when they study the next five years. In Tampa, Jada Williams, ABC Action News. And taking a deeper look at this topic, we found out that USF researchers noted the overall number of trees has gone down since 2011, causing a 30% reduction in the city's tree canopy in Tampa. And that means in the past 12 years, we've lost enough trees to cover an area about the size of Davis Islands four times.